Hi Tenfold, my name is Debochom Kwanazi and I'd like you guys to help me with this question here. Um, it says, observe the pattern below and here's the pattern. And then the first question says, if the pattern continues, find the number of letters found in the column containing M's. And the second one says, if the total number of letters in the pattern is 361, which letter will be in the last column? I'd really appreciate your help. Bye. It says, observe the pattern below. It's got A's, B's, C's, uh, D's, as well as E's, and it's going to continue like this all the way, maybe probably all the way up to Z. Now, what do we notice here? We notice that there's actually one of the A's. Right, the B's, how many B's do we have? Well, we have got three. How many C's? Two, four, five. Um, how many D's? Well, if you look here, one, three, five, you guessed it, it's gonna be seven. And then the pattern is gonna continue like this. This is basically a simple arithmetic pattern that has got a common difference of two, a common difference of two. So from what you're looking at here, you can see that my first term here, a is actually equal to 1, and my common difference here, D, is actually equal to 2. So when I've got those two, I can be able to do anything. Right. Let's see what the question says. If the pattern continues, find the number of letters found in a column containing M's. Okay, cool. So number one, we need to find out here, where is M? If you think about it, M is a letter in the list of the letters that you're actually working on, right? It's going to be maybe somewhere down the line of the letters. So we have to find which term is M going to be. And then once we have found that, it means we have found our N value, which we can substitute into, into the formula to try and figure out what uh, the number of M's are going to be in that particular uh, row that you, I mean, column that you could be dealing with. All right, cool. So first of all, let's go back and try to figure out the general term. So TN is A plus n minus 1 multiplied by d and then once you have this well your a value was 1 the n value we don't know what this is but the difference here is simply 2 because all the terms are increasing by 2 if you simplify you've got 1 plus 2n minus 2 which amounts to 2n minus 1 this is the general term now m which letter n is m m is at what position a b c d e f g h i j k l m M is the 13th term, so which means we are looking for T13, which is 2 into 13 minus 1, which will give you an answer of uh, 26 minus 1. Therefore, there's actually going to be 25 M's in that particular row. Right, the last part of this question is very interesting. They're saying to you, in the total, right, in the total number of letters in the pattern is 361, which letter will be the last in the column? Once they say total, they're talking about the sum. So what will happen in this case? Well, we need the formula for the sum. So the sum of n terms is n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. We are looking for the sum, right? We know the sum. What is the sum? Well, you will notice that the sum in this context was given to us as 361. So I'm simply going to have in this context 361 equals to n over 2 into 2 into 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by the difference, which is 2. And then if you double that, you'll have 2. 12, 2, 7, right, equals to n into multiplying here and here. We're going to have 2, right, plus 2n minus 2, which is going to give us something very exciting because if you look at it closely, you will then have 7 double 2 equals to n into 2n because the 2s cancel. So 7 double 2 is 2n squared. If you divide everybody by 2 over 2 over 2, let's see what you'll end up with. Well, 7, 2, 2. Divide by 2 gives you 361, so we're looking for the square root of 361, and if you do this, you're going to get that n is actually equal to 19. So we are looking for the 19th letter, and if you're looking for the 19th letter, I promise you, count them on, you will get the letter S.